Hi there everyone, I'm Kyle Suley Brookings. There is quite a bit of weather to uh, talk about. Hurricane Teddy is uh, going to be visiting Atlantic Canada over the next couple of days. Right now, Hurricane Teddy is a Category 1 hurricane, um, not too far from uh, Bermuda. Uh, and uh, over the next couple of days, beginning tomorrow, in fact, uh, the storm will impact uh, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland, and portions of Quebec as well. This is the track map here from the Canadian Hurricane Center. Um, right now, the storm has maximum sustained winds of uh, 150. That has since uh, weakened, in fact. Uh, however, over the next couple of days, the storm will make its way northward. Uh, by the time it uh, enters Canadian waters, the winds will diminish to about 130, and um, it will weaken from there as it uh, crosses Nova Scotia and uh, eventually uh, over western Newfoundland. So, there are several warnings uh, and watches and advisories in effect. There's uh, widespread tropical storm warnings in effect for uh, most of uh, Nova Scotia. Uh, there's tropical storm watches in effect as well for uh, portions of Nova Scotia and southern Newfoundland. Uh, Prince Edward Island included in that as well. There's also rainfall warnings for uh, portions of Nova Scotia. Wind warnings in effect for uh, a good chunk of Nova Scotia as well, as well as storm surge warnings. And uh, we also have uh, special weather statements in effect for Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, and uh, portions of southern Newfoundland and parts of Labrador as well. And a tropical cyclone information statements in effect for southern Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, and Ile de la Madeleine in Quebec. So, having said all of that, take a breath. What is expected for your area? Well, I have that answer for you too. Uh, Tuesday to Thursday, looks like we'll see about 15 to 20 millimeters of rain for uh, St. John's, about 15 to 25 in Marystown, 10 to 15 in Gander. Uh, 30 to 40 uh, millimeters is possible in Port of Ass, 25 to 35 in Cornerbrook and St. Anthony. And then uh, across the Maritimes, uh, heavier rain expected for uh, Nova Scotia, uh, up to 60 millimeters possible in Sydney. And uh, we could see 85 or more for uh, Halifax and surrounding areas, and about 15 to 30 in uh, southern Nova Scotia. Heavy rain is also expected for Prince Edward Island, and uh, even to an extent, some heavier rain for eastern New Brunswick. Uh, the winds are going to be uh, not overly strong compared to what we're used to seeing here in Atlantic Canada, gusting to about 80 for uh, most of the Avalon south coast. Uh, Port of Ass uh, gusting to about 110, gusting to 70, central uh, Newfoundland, the west coast, and uh, we could see some gusty winds on the northern peninsula as well as the storm moves through, and uh, winds anywhere from 70 to 90 across most of Nova Scotia, and about uh, anywhere from 60 to 80 for uh, New Brunswick and for Prince Edward Island. This is your power outage risk map. It's based on uh, winds and how long these winds will be howling. Uh, there is the potential we could see some power outages for southern Newfoundland, a uh, higher chance in the Port of Ass area, and uh, a good chance of seeing some outages for uh, Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island as well, and then uh, a pretty low probability of seeing any power outages in um, New Brunswick over the next couple of days. Wave heights, well, they are going to be quite significant. Uh, in fact, uh, well offshore wave heights of 15 meters is possible. Uh, southern Nova Scotia could see wave heights of 7 meters. Uh, northern Nova Scotia, including Cape Breton Island, about 10 meters. And then uh, waves anywhere from 2 to 6 meters around the shores of Newfoundland as the storm moves through. That is the latest update to now. You can stay tuned to wxcenter.ca for more.